My name is Domi Bakare, and I became a victim of circumstance. Now I'm serving 25 years in prison for something I do not even have a clue. Those around you and those you walk with matter. There is no breakthrough in businesses that do not need persistence on achieving these goals. Persistence is insistence in the further pursuit of hitting the max. I tried my very best, but it seems difficult. Mr. Eric, Thomas Edison, in his path to greatness, persisted failing 99 times. But you know what? At his 100th time of trial, he made it. Mr. Eric, Get this deep into your head. Difficulty does not survive around me. And so shouldn't we too. The reason I summoned you here today was to know on whose order did you call off the workers at the rural areas? Mine. I thought it was a waste of resources. Since productivity. Did I complain? No, madam. I'm sorry. I don't need your apology, Mr. Eric. Get out there and make sure people are working with you. Get this with you. Results are made by men, not men sitting and waiting for results. I'm sorry, ma'am. Sorry for yourself. Baby. Baby, what's disquieting you? You haven't even eaten what was said for you. Nothing. Nothing. It's okay. Can you imagine? Why don't you tell me? Life. <laughs> what about life? Look at somebody I helped while in school. Come and see him parading the whole town. I, I mean, what have I not done? Baby, I have told you times without number. Don't take this too hard on yourself. I believe time and chance is given to all and someday, someday very soon you will have your own singular opportunity. Baby, when? Wait, wait. I need you to tell me something. I really want to know what you're thinking of doing right now. Make more money. And I need to get more watermelon tomorrow again Saturday. Is this where your life ends? Make more watermelon? What's watermelon? What's that? Baby, what is it? Is there any problem? Nothing. It's just that I'm not really pleased with what you're doing. I mean, look at you. You have studied. You are educated. You need, you need to get something better to do with your life. Something that befits your status. Okay, if you are given more money, are you going to get something better and bigger, of course, to do? Some other kind of business? Of course. But let the money come in first. Let the money come in first. Sure. I think I have an idea on that. <laughs> He's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> an idea. Mm hmm. Okay, let me hear. <laughs> you are not just going to hear it, you will see. <laughs> you miss it. Okay. Ta. 
father. What's this? This is one million seven hundred and fifty thousand francs CFA. Baby. Where? Well, does it really matter where I got it? Look at you. Aren't you searching for money? Of course we are, but I need to. But no, but no, but okay. All right, listen to me. This is what I want us to do. Are you with me? Of course, baby. But I need. To. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. From what you just saw, you notice that the, it's going to be a humongous project. So I'd like you to use your position as the one ahead to get us as much land as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, Mr. Samson, you know, I will need something to buy the mall. Uh, no problem. Okay, that's model. Okay. Welcome back. What are you up to? I've been working on that complimentary card and I got a phone and a SIM inside for office use. Magdev, what are you up to? Is anything the matter? Who have you been sleeping with? I don't understand. I don't. Don't pretend. Just answer my question. Who have you been sleeping with? Tell me, please. Please, okay? Whatever is running through your mind right now, I don't want to get it. It's got nothing to do Don't with give me attitude! Who have you been sleeping with? Tell me what is your problem. No, tell me what is your problem! The problem is tell me who you've been sleeping with. Tell whoever has sent you that he or she has failed to dazzle. You hear me? Let me warn you. Tell me what is your problem. Never touch my money. Or use it on those your losers. <gasps> I'm scared. <laughs> ah! Your money. Yes. He just said his money. <laughs> I, don't... I don't blame you. I don't. I blame myself for introducing you into this business. Watch your mouth. Ah! Watch your mouth. Tell me enough of this madness. Enough. Be careful. Enough this madness! Watch it! Do you know what I have been through? All the things and things I have gone through for you to get up on a very good day like this. Claiming that all of this is yours. Do you? I don't care. And I don't want to know. Alright. Now you shut that hole on your face and listen. Real Watch it. men work for themselves. You don't sit there cross-legged waiting for a lady to clean your shit. I do not have the luxury of caution, but let me caution you, dummy. The next time, the next time you raise this thing at my face, what will happen? The likes of you will learn from it. Because you know what? You will surely, you will drop like a bag of carrots. Now, if you do not mind, I got work to do. Rubbish. But remember, I will pay you back every penny you ever spend in my business. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Before you do that, I must have done it a million times. Time is a very vital aspect as far as achieving an organizational goal is concerned. When one neglects the factor of time, you have just neglected the goals of the organization. The truth is, time is even more important than the goals. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes, it is with time that one takes to realize the goals, not the goals 
to realize the time. If that is said and done, let's take a look at what time is all about. Time, it's a period set aside for the achievement of a plan or for an event to occur. The productivity of an organization or individuals all depends on the understanding of the concept of time management. That will be all for today. In our next meeting, we will take a look at what money is all about. Thank you all. Have a good day. Mr. Eric, meet me in my office. Okay, madam. Hello, miss. Hello, ma. Good day. Good day. And how may I help you? May I speak with uh, the manager, Mr. Eric, please? Sure, ma'am. But not right away. He's in a meeting. If I may ask, do you have an appointment with him today? Not really. But the discussion I'm to have with him is worth millions of US dollars. So I don't think that's too much of a problem, is it? Oh, no. Okay, can you please give me a minute? That's okay. Sure, he'll be rounding up just in a little while. Okay. Please have a seat. Thanks. drop a note. Okay. Have it. And please make sure he sees it okay. Okay. I thought you had changed your mind, Mr. Eric. What can I do for you? I want to propose a business deal to your company. Here is not a place for a business baggy. Besides, I'm not the boss. Anyway, how big is your business? Bigger than your wildest imagination. Let me hear it. Sorry, Eric, this deal is beyond your office. But be rest assured, I'm going to send in words for you to your boss. I called you out here so you could enable me meet her in person. You see, my company produces sugar. And I thought it would be great if there is an extension of MCCRD in my country. As a part of the board of directors. I talked your company into this. And that's why I'm here right now to see if you could accept my proposal. She's out of town for now, but I can give you her private number. Her private number is just... Behold, we are not looking for people to sell the product because the extension here is going to produce their own stuff. And that is employment to thousands. So, coupled with the know-how of your boss, it's just so perfect. Not leaving you out, please. Anyway. Here's a card. Thanks. I will see you ASAP.
Um, I don't think you'll be able to handle that supply because it's gigantic. Oh, Mr. Samson, please. Being small doesn't mean we can't handle what those big companies are handling, right? Sure. Okay, if you say so. Ah, uh, dummy. Sir. My son speaks a lot about you. Are you really what he thinks? So we're more like brothers. If he has recommended Sir, me. please. I would like to know what you need to be supplied to you and how you need it. Okay, from the blueprints you've seen, I'll need about at least 10,000 bags of cement and even more. Oh my gosh. Any problem? No, sir. I just thought about something else to do. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'll also need brown tiles. Are they available? Yeah. How many cartons will you be in here? Uh, let's say about 800 cartons. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's available. In that case, I'll pay in half of the amount now and uh, you'll get the rest upon delivery. It's okay by me, sir. All right, Mr. Samson. Good doing business with you. Nice doing business. Dami. Thank you, sir. Very nice. Baby, I can't imagine or believe it's happening right here. <laughs> Believe it, sweetheart, because it is not just happening right here. It is happening right now. <laughs> and that reminds me, what about the money that was supposed to be transferred into the account? He said as soon as the transaction is done, he's going to call to confirm. Woo! <laughs> that means no more whispering like familiar spirits. <laughs> If I'm a familiar spirit, then you should be a principality. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> please, 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 don't break my ribs. I've had enough of this already. Maybe 300 million will be transferred into our account within a week. 250 upon completion of delivery. Oh my. <laughs> our <laughs> level has changed. We need to expand, get new dresses, uh -huh. shoes. <gasps> A portable car. <laughs> Baby, I'm so excited. I am so oh, boy. So oh. Can't you see? Look at me. I am hot. Baby, I'm excited. We are big. Oh. oh, thank you very much, sir. I just called to confirm the transaction. Okay. All right. Goodbye for now. Dummy, come and get the latest. The transaction has been confirmed. Seriously? Like seriously. <laughs> so, baby, what's the next plan? Because I. Uh... What are you doing? <laughs> this number has never existed. Okay? <laughs> uh. This moment is going to expunge all the pain and bring new things to our mind. What do you think? <laughs> Baby, I, I still don't understand what you're doing. Well, don't you trust me on this? I do. Mm -hmm. <sighs> We're going to make it. <laughs> yeah. This is great. Thank you, boss. But remember, he must not have access to the land title without completing the other share of the money. Yes, boss. And as for you, I must say I'm impressed how fast you've grown. You may say that again, boss. All right. I'll see you soon.
Hello? Mm-hmm, good day. And who am I talking to? Oh, no, sorry, sorry, you got the wrong number. Anyway, who do you want to talk to? Mr. Mr. Dumi Zakari? No, 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 I'm sorry. I, I'm not the person and I don't know the person either. Listen, mister, I just said I'm sorry. I don't know who that person is. <sighs> you know what? Just check. You might have died the wrong combination. <sighs> oh, my greatness. Anything? Someone just called me and I told him he got the wrong number and he kept on squabbling at me as if we knew each other. Not everybody has the skills to talk on phone. No, Mr. Eric, the phone is... This is my private line. Anyway, let's go. Excuse. Hello, auntie. What? My mother? Where? Okay, I'll be right there. I'll be right in the hospital. Yes. Hey, Mr. Eric, please. My mother. You have to get there. Please. Come Hello. on, girl. I thought I told you not to call me anymore. Cut the nagging. What do you want from me? Um, I want you in my arms where you rightly belong. Domi, you are annoying. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. See, I have a surprise package for you. Hello? I get the point. You're angry with me. Disappointed. I know I was I was unfair with you, but I promise I'll, I'll make it up to you. Not today. Because you, you resist change. Yes, I know. Okay, please. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, ba baby, I'll call you. I'll call you after. I have to attend to some something. Okay. Yes, please come in. Oh. Okay. Oh no, Frank, not you. Not not you, man. Come on, bro. What? Won't you let me have a seat? Please, Frank. I, I'm I'm expecting somebody, and she wouldn't be happy seeing the third party. Just understand. For me, it's extremely important. It's very important, that's why. No, please, please you. it's not an emergency. Just go. See, Dumi, you have to listen. You must listen. Oh, my God. Come just a second, you would it? Just, just go. I'll call you. Dumi, you must listen. Frank, can you just excuse me? Which part of the going do you, are, are, are you not understanding? Yeah. Thanks, man. I'll call you. As soon as that trap gets here with that money, I'm out of this poverty-stricken, miserable place. I mean, I'm done with everything, including her. I have to move on with better ladies who are more inspired than me. Man, Dev speaking. Yes. What's, what's happening? I've been worried about you. Where are you? Oh no, don't be my darling. Everything is working as planned. I'm glad to hear that. So are you coming immediately? No. Never. What's that? <laughs> I want you to remember this. Like I didn't know you were such a loser. Oh no, please. You, you you can't you can't do that to me. That's that's my life. I want you to think very carefully, dummy. Then you will understand what I'm saying. <laughs> come on, come on, Magdev, you can't do this to me, please. Well, I'm doing it, baby. And it was wonderful doing business with you. Okay. I'll see you. 
if and only need arises. There is a war one has to fight and another to walk away. Which one are you doing? Let me say I'll leave that choice for you to make. So for how long have you been cooking this? From the day you had the temerity to threaten me. And if you were not such a dumb head, you remember what I said. That if you want to do anything, I must have done it a million times. Okay? We can, we can, we can fix this thing. Just come, tell me your location, I'll come get you. We, we, we sit down and, and talk about it. <laughs> oh. No, please, please, don't, 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 don't please, please. Hello? Dummy. It's such a... leaving tomorrow at 12. I want you to complete the deal. Good. My dear, <laughs> well, I'm fine. It's okay. <laughs> I came back last night. Yeah, you can say that again. Mom's burial was a different thing. Mm -hmm. Well, the only problem I have now is father. Yeah, you know how close to both of them were. It's killing him. Okay. When you're around, just let me know, okay? Bye. Mm -hmm, bye. <laughs> Martin, I've been thinking for a while now, but I've not come to a concession. Well, I have not thought of that, ma'am. Uh, I have told you not to address to me as madam, okay? I am the mother, the sister, and even the father you never had. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you don't need to be sorry. But, Martin, not knowing what to do next is a crime. I'm not sure you always want me to be the one to tell you what is better for you. You are old enough now to pick up a path and shape your life, making it better. Well, I thought of studying cinematography, but on a second thought, it could be a burden to you. But why should you think it's a burden to me? <laughs> Wait, listen. Don't you ever think for a second, okay, that you are a burden to me. You should feel free to make your request known to me at any time, okay? Yeah, I hear you, big sister. <laughs> Okay, that is what I like. You can say that again, Martin. But for now, I'll have to go and see you off. I got a lot of work to do. Sorry, I'm 
can't you marry Lil? No, I can't. Because you are so bad in bed that no other girl can dare stand you the way I do. Stop bogging your head with thoughts. And for you, my dear. Emilia. Get out of here, you idiot. If you know what is good for you, you better wake up from your slumber. Because he is a commoner. Who is she? She's my fiance. Was. Point of correction. It's all over. It's yours. <laughs> Nelson, don't push my button, okay? Get out of here! What was that? Will you stop me, Nelson? Let me go! Get out of here! No doubt you have been forcing to sleep with me, but thank God I never gave you the opportunity to. Now, get out of my room! I said get out of my room now! Get out of my other room! Now, so out! That is what I mean by holding hands. But before we continue, I would like to introduce to you our new business partner from Ukraine, Mr. Mba Fedino. You're welcome. With such an open mind, wonderful and remarkable ideas will fill the century. It is a dawn of a new day. Let Mr. Eric present to us his plan of work. Mr. Eric, over to you. Ma'am, sorry for interrupting. 
you have a call on one of your private lines. And how important is the call that you can't wait? He sounds like one of your partners. Okay, put him through. Right away, ma'am. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Dummy, thank God I finally met you in person. Have you been looking for me? Looking for you is an understatement. For some time now, I've been calling your number. A girl picks up the call. She tells me she has no clue of what I'm talking about or who the hell I'm claiming to be. Excuse me, which of the numbers have you been calling? That which you, a partner of yours gave me. He said I could reach you through this. Take a look at that. Ah, uh, yeah. This number is no longer active. I so thought as they, much. I thought as much. They stole the phone. I thought as much. You see. Get my personal. Oh, 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 don't worry. That wouldn't be necessary. Okay, just get back to me. Anyway, I'll have to take my leave. Something is not right. Hello, did I hear you say something? Something is not right? Forget it. Okay, Um, I was wondering, please, maybe uh, a card, a contact number? I'm sorry, I changed my mind. You're telling me to calm down because you've never had such an amount of money taken from you. That's why you have your peace. I understand, but... No, you don't. You don't understand. If you ever had that much money taken from you, you won't be at peace. What are you implying? What am I implying? Don't act innocent to me. You mean I don't feel your pain as a friend? Oh, come on, honey. Stop that crap. Don't act innocent. You talk as if I took the money away. Of course you did. I beg your pardon? Weren't you supposed to advise me like the good friend you are? But you just let the money walk out the door. Well, I believe you have to go see the other landowners. It's complicated. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> when is my money is complicated, right? Adi, give back my money, please. It has been shared already. What do you mean it has been shared? I'm not going to lose money on both sides, Adi. And if this money has been shared, you are going down. If I don't get my money back, suit yourself. Suit myself. Suit myself. Seriously, suit yourself by walking out the door, honey. I don't have work to do. Please. You walk me out of here. I'm not walking you out. I'm asking you to get out. Any updates? Nothing here. Uh, we're waiting for a call to relate to the number or the number makes a call. But uh, we actually printed this out and uh, it shows that the number you gave us on the card is quite different from the bearer of this number. Yeah. Emilia Awemotimo. Can't be. But does it really mean that Dumi Bakari are not even in his three names? Now wait for a minute. But this name is feminine. I think it is the lady he's working with. I think so. But why should she do this? Who is Dumi Bakari? Oops, you scared 
hitting me. I'm sorry, madam. It's okay. I was just about knocking. My apologies. Good morning. Good morning. And how may I help you? I am Inspector Berry Gogomo, my assistant. Mm -hmm. We are here for some questioning. Just excuse me, let me drop this. Inspector, what yeah. is it all about? Like I said, Mother, we are here for some questioning. Do you know a certain Mr. Samson Bamu? Mr. Samson Bamu? Well, it doesn't ring a bell to me. He's a businessman and he's into real estate. I'm sorry, I cannot help you. I don't know him. And if you don't mind. All right, madam. Go. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Do you really have any business with any Samson? I said no, Inspector. Okay, no further questioning for now. Last two days I've been working with a technician and somehow other numbers came on the list. Oh, great job. So where do I come in? Uh, I'll call the numbers to see if they can lead us to something useful. Do you need more men from me? Oh no, I just need one of your cars so as to avoid suspicion. Okay, that, no problem. Okay. What about the lady in custody? She hasn't said anything yet. Oh, uh, still proving tough. But you know, I'll break her, you know, as she's not the first. She mm. thinks uh, her money will set her free, right? Uh -huh. Let's see how she gets out of this. And uh, Dummy, any news from Dummy? Um, four days ago, he was spotted around Batibo. But as we speak, there are no trace of him yet. That boy is not a coward to still go to Batibo knowing that his cover has been blown. I thought so. I will wish that you inform all the different units in the uh, neighboring villages. Okay. And tell those in charge that I'm very ready to motivate them in this mission. It's okay, all right, I'll do just that. Okay, I think I get going. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Madam, is this yours? What am I doing here, Inspector? Answer my questions as they are asked. Yes. So what now? So you went back at my residence without my permission? Do you know I can charge for invading my privacy? Tell me why a business lady would destroy her own SIM card when she knows fully well that many of her clients are having this number. This is my private number, okay? And besides, I don't use it for business purposes. You know what? Just let me go, please. If I'm getting you right, you mean you've never given out this number to whosoever with regards to business? Yes. Yes. Miss Emilia, I would appreciate if you tell me the truth. <sighs> Listen. If that is why we are here, okay? You don't have to worry, okay? Let me go, I'm not a criminal. I didn't say so, unless you're telling me otherwise. My interest is, why would you give this number to Mr. Samson Bam? When you know fully well that you don't give her that number to your clients. Oh, wait. I am not Matt Dev, okay? I am Awemu Emilia Timo. And I don't know this person. Talk less of a branch in this area. 
For crying out loud, I don't know. Miss Emilio, the abbreviation on that complimentary card and the number belongs to you, right? I don't know. Enough! Okay? I said enough! Sit down. I will not stand here and speak Sit to you or to any other person. Okay? Don't get me out of here! Sit down. I am not going to stand here for you to exercise your ignorance on me. Miss Emilia, sit down. I am not sitting down, madam. Officer? I am not sitting. Yes, madam. Take a Just leave me! Just leave me! I want to talk to my Anthony. What is the meaning of this? Do you know who I am? Nonsense! You are here for me, okay? You better let me go! Let me go! Officer, let me go! What is happening to me? Madam, I'm very sorry for the lost. <laughs> and now, my father is dead. And I'm, I'm, I'm here. What is happening? You just need to be strong. Everything will be okay. Okay. Oh my God. I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is happening to me. It's okay. Hi, Lord. Madam Emily, I don't know how you're going to take this. Because the Commissioner of Police is still very adamant as to admitting you to bail. What? He can't possibly do that. Relax. You know what? I have been taking it easy with them. Because I know there is a misunderstanding somewhere. Just relax. And I have been cooperating with them. Just calm down and relax. I... So calm down. I can't relax. These buffoons are keeping me here under custody. For what reason? Can you tell me for what reason? Madam, you are getting out of control. Get a cool head. The attorney is working on something. As a matter of fact, Madam Emilia, I really understand how you feel. And I think it is to the best of my interest to do everything humanly possible for you to be admitted to bail. On Monday, I shall be meeting with the Leonard Senior State Council of this jurisdiction for us to work out something for you to be admitted to bail because today is a Friday and as a matter of policy, they'll be moving you to prison custody. <laughs> they should do no such. Tell them to keep me here. <laughs> oh my God. Something is wrong somewhere. You have to do something. This... This system is wrong. They can just judge things. The way it presents itself. Just because my number and the abbreviation of my company is on the card. That I'm guilty. Can't they be reasonable enough to, to understand this? Well, I'm tempted to believe that uh, he or she did not intend to do you any wrong. <coughs> Probably the abbreviation on the card <laughs> and the phone number on the card could be a, a wrong combination of numbers. <laughs> well, ma'am. Just like I promised you, no need to worry. Come Monday, we work out something. Time is already on my side. I have to run. <laughs> Mr. Manager, 
let my absence don't have an effect on the company, okay? Run it as usual, okay? Yes, ma'am. I trust you, Eric. It's okay. I trust you, Mr. Evi. Thank you. It's been two weeks. Still no information. Not to worry, sir. I have some information. Okay. The young man's name is Jimmy Bakari. He was assaulted by the father, humiliated and rejected. His mother, whom he loved so much, took away her own life when she learned of it. Scammed by the people around him. His father tricked him equally into signing a document that robbed him of all what he had inherited from the grandfather. Jumi had to do something. He tricked his father into his own death. And the law declared him not guilty. Meaning he's a criminal. I mean, I've not done anything to hurt him. Why would he treat me this way? They said he believes everybody is the same. With no one to be trusted. Not even a sister, but himself. Now to him, he wants to get back what he lost uh, by trusting himself. Um. From my findings, the money was transferred from one bank to an offshore account, which is unknown. Uh, implying? I think he carries the money around. With him, it's safer than anywhere else. How can it be a scam? I talked to the lady over the phone, the lady that he works with, and she had assured me that, uh, I mean, she has my cement, only to tell me later yeah. that my name was not amongst those to be delivered. Mm. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Can I have a number? Uh, sure, one second. Okay, the card. Okay. okay. So where, where do we go from here? I am going to pull all information concerning them to see if I can have a lead. Now, before we part our separate ways, uh, yeah. I'd like you to do something for me. I want you to take my son in custody because I believe he's the mastermind behind this. Without any evidence? Think about it. Um, he's the one who took me to these people and he made me pay them all these sums of money. Don't you think he has a lot to tell us? All right, sir. I'll see what to do. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I will do everything within my powers to see if we can track them. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'll be alighting just by the junction to oh, see it. Right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm waiting on you. Okay. Like I said, um, don't you worry. I will do everything to bring them. What about the location? It's not important. Just okay. Go on. What's going on here? I can't get anything. Shit! We lost them. So? We could not acquire his exact location. Someone on board. 
No big deal, but what about the receiver? Well, just about 95% to go. But at least we have something to work with. You're a genius boy. Thank you so much. to this. It's been a while. I don't know how we're about. I learned she's under police custody. Okay, Domi. I trusted you. Tell me where you are. Listen, sir. I can Good. You don't need me. Please, you can do this to me. And what has that got to do with me? By implication, they are insinuating that both men are talking about you. What? Officer. But I just got a strange sound. Uh, probably from the other block, officer. One more minute, sir. Thank you very much, officer. You see, Emilia, there is no need for you to be angry. <laughs> you don't understand how I feel. I do understand, but uh, you know... <laughs> These people have robbed me of all my privileges. <laughs> Making me to suffer so much. <laughs> I know how you feel, but I'm promising you that making use with all the available information and the resources that I have at my disposal, I'm going to make sure you leave this place within the shortest time possible. <laughs> oh my God! Can you tell me what am I doing here? <laughs> what am I doing here? I'm not a criminal, okay? I believe you. It's no one's desire, my dear, to find his or herself here. But like I promised you, I'm going to do everything humanly possible to make sure you leave this place as fast as possible. Believe me. Welcome, Dad. I was just about stepping out. I hope you had a great day. Uh, not quite, son. You know, wisdom has it that a man's downfall will come from inside his household. That's right. I could not believe that you would be the one to try to kill me, Isaiah. Dad, for the past two days, you've been speaking in strange tongues and I don't seem to have that gift of interpretation. Oh, don't be such a performer. I'm still not following. Have I ever refused you anything, Isaiah? Where's your share of the money? Dad. What money are you talking about? Who's your team? Oh, come on, Dad. If it's about dummy, please spare me. Please, I... What did he just say? Spare you out? Now, let me tell you something. If I don't get the money, I'll start treating you as if you were never my son. Dad. I really don't want to sound demeaning to you. But you're getting me on my nerves. Father, why do you think so evil of me these days? Excuse me! Don't even think of taking another step forward, or else. Excuse me, Dad. Okay, you just crossed the line. Domi, there are things there are things you need to know. Go on, tell me. You know, MacDev was well known to me. What? 
You mean you knew her before I did? For me, it's a long time. It's, it's a story, but long ago, we in a business deal together. You know, but she overplayed and double-crossed me, and man, that ended me up in prison. Oh Why didn't you tell me this? Tell me I did. You know I did. But you wouldn't just listen when I... I tried, but you wouldn't just listen. See, see. We, let's not talk about this thing here. We don't have time for all these things. You cannot be hiding in this place. You can't stay in this place. But man, are you sure she can still be in town? I can't tell. My girl, she's too smart. I really cannot tell. But anyway, there are, there are two persons I need to contact. Okay. Um, I think it's going to be helpful. But first I have to get Shazaya. Okay. You no. Know, his father asked for his arrest too. Are you serious? No. See. Why won't people listen? Why don't you? How do I convince you? How do you want to believe me? Anything you have to do, do it fast. And get me out of this. Please. It's okay. It's okay. You can't you can't stay behind. Thank you, man. Okay, watch out. This thing is yeah, shut up, please. Follow this gutter right up to the hill where there is a stream. The stream separates you and the other tenant. And it goes up all of this way. Now, all of these things the banana, the plantains, and all the crops you see here have been paid for. So they're all right. Yeah, if you get anybody harvesting anything here, then the person must be a thief, should be arrested. The land continues this way. It's a very large piece of land. Oh. I could not imagine that we can afford such a large piece of land with a little money. You see those tall trees over there? Yeah. Above that hill, that's where your land is. on my land. Have you forgotten me so soon? You who? Do we know each, each, each other? I gave you money some few days ago for this land. <laughs> I don't know you. In fact, what you're saying makes no sense to me. Don't claim innocent, woman. You know very well that this land belongs to me. Yes, me. You shut up. Shut up. Who's acting innocent? Who is acting innocent here? Oh, yes. Yeah, they say people claim other people's property. Yes! It's, I, I never believe them. It's right at my doorstep. Ade. Sir. Ade. Sir. What's happening here? Sir, I personally handed the money to her. I'm equally surprised at her actions. Hello? Yes. Yes. The deal has been sealed. Okay. Uh, but remember, my real neighbors can't know him. Is that okay? Don't worry about that. It has been taken care of. Just let me know when everybody had gone to the market. Then I will send you a crew to put them in place. Okay. See you then. Alright. Bye. Shut up! You tell me to To who? To you, of course. You are a thief. I think this woman needs a psychiatrist. Yes. I think she has some nuts and bolts. There's something wrong with her. Who? You. Hey! Me, Martina. Martina, whatever your name is. Okay. The two of you should just wait there. Wait for me. Don't move. Let's see who will be taking to the psychiatrist. Madness. I don't think you are in the right process with my client. I'm sorry, Anthony. From the number on the card and the abbreviation, it shows that number is her private line. And besides, people's private number do not just get to others without them giving it to others. You can't possibly tell me it's a private line, officer, because my client has multiple business associates. 
and one of them would have probably given it out to some other hoodlum, thinking in good faith there was business. And besides, my client has no branch in this area. Your client has a lot of business with other people. Officer, I don't think we are serious in this issue. What I'm telling you is, the number on that card could possibly be given by any other person. My client hasn't got a branch here, for heaven's sake. It must be given by them. Officer, let me tell you something you don't know. My client hasn't got a branch in this area. Do you, do you really think Domi will do this to you? Not until it happened. But you never really thought for a moment if Miguel could be behind everything to you. No, no. She, she, she's, she's too mean. Don't get her involved into this. Um, I believe there's going to be a way for you to leave this place. And I hope it happens. I just pray. I pray. Look at me. Look at me. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay as well. They will have to leave now. Thank you. Fit me in. Positive boss. Moving as planned. Very good. What about the lady? She's under custody, but. Bert. Domi is nowhere to be found. That guy is as dumb as his name sounds. Forget about him. I'll see you on the other side. Yes, boss. Good.
coming. Someone has been calling him in that line. Okay. No, any color ID? Just the number, no color ID. Okay, thank you. Yeah, hello. Can you please give me the last two numbers we tracked on the seat? Yeah, okay. 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 I don't know how you feel when Seven, we get close. Checking out. Four, six, Bringing on what we got holding us close. Eight, seven, two. All this while. Okay. All right. It's hard All right. for me to know that I okay. don't have anyone else. So careless of you letting go. It's so hard. I can't it's believe me. what I see. It's so soft. I can't hide on it alone. It's weighing on me. The cast in the You are coming with me. What makes you so sure? This is the end of your road. I'm not a criminal. You move, I'll shoot. If you do, then you're my savior. 
Now, I'm going to ask both of you questions. And I expect that you answer them genuinely. Now, do me. Do you know this lady? I want speech, not gestures. Now I go again. Do me. Do you know this lady? How come you kept calling her line? I found her card on you. And you kept responding to messages from her number. Technically not hers, but from her line. I just said I don't know her. And I mean it. Me responding to her, to her messages, her card on me. I don't understand. What do you mean by you don't understand? The truth is, I don't know any of this. I know something. What? Did you just hear that? Sit down. Sit down. Do me. Calm down. Calm down, my son. I know how you feel. No. Nobody knows how I feel. Nobody in here can understand how I feel. I didn't do it. I don't know this. You both are needed by the boss. Okay. Give me a minute. Investigator. Uh, yeah. Good evening. You're welcome. Thank you. 
But how did you find me? You know, when you want something, you always find it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Long time. Down. Oh, okay, thank man. you. Thank okay. you. Wow. Thank you. I'm happy. So, how has it been? Well, I'm Sango. Sit down. Okay. Thank you. How are you today? So, oh, so, so. Glory to glory. Oh, it's just great. At least your client has been uh, released. Honestly speaking, you know, we fought so hard for her release. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. We always have to work in collaboration. You sure, know? sure, sure. You know, but we have to work in collaboration to make sure we fight crime in our own city. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Sure. Yeah. Now we are really happy. Now, uh, what do you think about Domi? Uh, Domi has uh, a situation that is pitiable, but you know, Ignorance of the law is no excuse, but if you ask my opinion, I'll tell you Domi is innocent. But you know, I've always thought that that guy is innocent. Mm, yeah, but as I say, it goes, man, ignorance of the law is no excuse. So he's suffering with faith. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. I, I know, know my client has been released and that calls for a celebration. And if you don't mind, I'm inviting you Investigator in but charge. Come to think of it, what about this environment? No doubt. You're always very intelligent. Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> Once in a while, it's good to take yourself from the general public okay. and reflect on something very important. Okay. But why yeah. don't you join me in the celebration of my client? I'll be very happy. You're yeah. welcome. Thank you. Be Thank my you. guest. Thank you. <laughs> After the death of Mr. Samson Bamo, the son Isaiah Bamo was released from police custody and he traveled back to Europe. But before leaving, he said, Domi, I will come back for you. Yeah.